Hello, it's James from X-Robots. This is part five of the 3D printed bat suit, which has been made with Ninja Tech products. And thanks to Ninja Tech for their support, I'm using Ninja Flex, Cheetah and Armadillo. So, so far we've done quite a bit. We've worked our way down the arms. We've got most of the upper body and the bat utility belt done. In this episode, we're gonna try and get the legs done, at least the boots, and we'll see how the time goes, but it's a lot of printing. So let's have a look at the design. Like the rest of the suit, the boot is going to be quite modular, so I've planned some blocks to make the main thing, and then we're going to flatten it all out. So I've made some rough blocks that make up the shape of the leg, there's going to be modular sections running up at the leg that wrap around, and they're actually going to be open at the back. The toe and the knee are going to be 3D printed and made in 3D, but the rest of the things I'm going to fold out flat, and then we're going to basically make them into templates. And I'm doing that using Pepecura Designer, which is the way I did lots of the Hulkbuster panels for the build of Colin Furs. So that's one of my pieces. I've got my flat templates on the right, and then we can put those back into Fusion and make flat templates to work from. So I got my flat templates, extruded them out a bit in Fusion 360, and then started to add detail. Now there's quite a lot of other detail on the bat suit, and I didn't want the legs just to have sort of blank sections, so I've made them kind of over detailed. But those will hopefully pick up the light shining on that shiny Ninja Flex. So here are some of the first pieces. This piece fits over the top of the foot, and as you can see, these actually bolt together. So these are gonna be tied at the back onto a special piece at the back of the leg, and that's how it's all gonna to fit together in its modules. So this piece was too big to fit on the bed, so as you may have seen in the CAD, I've actually split it. And that's gonna bolt together as well, and again, we've got those tie backs. Now these pieces, you'll notice I've put these valleys in, and that's so they can bend on those pieces, the whole thing is quite flexible anyway because it's Ninja Flex Cheetah, but it bends much better on those and that's gonna help shape it round the boot. So I'm just using socket cap M4 bolts here and those are screwing straight into the Cheetah and it's pretty tight. So that makes a nice joint, it's pretty stiff bends a little bit and that's just right. I am of course going to be using actual normal boots. I'm not making boots and that's why there's no sole. So here are the pieces which I've uh, bolted together there again to hinge. So of course this should fit over quite neatly there. And that should go around that way if I can grab them all at the back. There we go. So there'll be a toe piece of course right on the end and probably a heel piece that brings all this together and then a strip up the back that takes all the straps. So I've designed the other two pieces, which are pretty similar, so let's get those printed and see if it fits up the boot okay. So there's one boot fitted with those other sections so far, so those upper sections are very similar. Obviously my boot actually finishes um, after the first stage, so there's just my skinny leg in there, so they're a bit looser. But what we're going to do is run a strip up the back to kind of tie that together instead of this temporary Velcro. So we've still got the knee and the toe to do, but uh, so far, yeah, pretty happy with that. So I'm going to make these two extra sections, which basically one goes on the back of the heel and one goes on the back of the calf. And these are going to bulk it out a bit more, pull those straps tight and give me a bit more of a contour on the back of the leg. So you'll notice they've got holes through the bottom and there's also notches in the top on those and that's the same on both of them. And that's to allow the strap to go around in a circle because it's Velcro so it can stick to itself. The bottom one can go through the hole in the bottom and the top piece can go in the top or I can pull them both into the top if I want to pull it extra tight and we'll see how it goes when we mount them. I've also designed a knee piece there that hinges on the top the same as the other pieces. We'll get those printed as well. All right, there we go. So I've now added those back pieces on. Again, I've just put some Velcro in. You'll notice um, the back one where I said I had those holes through the bottom I haven't used. I've just taken both straps around the actual back there into those grooves and obviously that's held in. It's not gonna go anywhere. The bottom one, the straps go one through the hole in the piece and one round the groove in the top. So uh, just get that square. But I think I've got a pretty good looking back boot so far. We've still got the knee to stick on. But yeah, that's uh, looking pretty good, I think. 
even with my skinny leg and no boot, and I've still got space to expand that if I want a taller boot inside, and I'm not sure if I do at the moment or not. And there it is. So uh, obviously that's another flexible piece, just bolted on in the same way up the front there with the others. So um, being cheater, it's flexible, so I can actually kneel on it and it bends and works as it should as a knee pad. So there we go. So that's the boot so far. I'm pretty happy with that so far, but obviously we've still got to put those toes on. I'm actually going to leave those for now because I'm not sure how to attach them and it might look okay without them. I think I need to square a sort of toe. There's several other things I need to come back and tidy up on the suit towards the end of the series, including these shoulders that people keep telling me about. So we'll leave that on the list. But for now, we're going to look at the thighs. I'm going to make the thighs in a similar way to the way I did the forearm with some rigid sections and a flex section with straps attached that bends over the top. So these are the two rigid sections and I've made these so they can both be printed flat on the bed. And there's also some flexibility between them. So uh, that means they only have to bend in one direction, but they can, of course, flex in the middle. There's various anchor points on them. I've got one here that attaches to the belt and another one that attaches to the cod plate. If you remember, I left some attachments there for straps. The other holes there are for big ninja flex parts to flex over the top and strap through so straps can go round my thighs on the inside. And of course we've got a scoop out of here so we'll make symmetrical pairs and those will be the bits that face the front. I want to bulk those thighs up with a fairly substantial piece that bends round over the top and I also want space to fit some back gadgets in there. So it's going to be pretty chunky and have quite thick straps that velcro round the thigh. I also want it to bend around really well so I've cut these slots out which means that the ninja flex can actually flex and it won't be really stiff because we tend to find that these big chunks actually end up pretty stiff printed in ninja flex cheetah. So let's get that printed and see how well the pieces fit together. So there's my flexible cheetah section and you can see those slots in there which are triangular shaped so that means this can bend really well to make that contour. So these are my rigid pieces which were printed in armadillo and that's really tough and of course these pieces will eventually be poked through here. It's quite hard to stick them through so I've already assembled the other one. You can see those straps come through the bottom there the same as I did the forearms and they can be velcroed around the thigh. So then this piece should strap onto here and the other one straps onto the bottom of the back belt and that should just line up right. Obviously I've left this big recess here and you can just about see some screw holes so I can actually screw in something in the future and make back gadgets that fit on my thighs. All right, so there it is all together, so far. The only thing I haven't got on is the 3D printed fabric pieces that go underneath my torso sections. And that's because I'm not sure whether I'm actually gonna replace the undersuit with something more textured. Um, or whether this is an appropriate undersuit. It'd be quite good if there's some texture and maybe some more bulk to it. So obviously there's a few blank patches around my knees and things. But uh, on the whole, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, there we go. Let me just whip up my cape so you can see my legs. Uh, they seem to be looking all right. I haven't got the flexible or at least the straps in from the cod plate, in fact, that I described, because I need to make those out of something flexible. At the moment, obviously, they'll change length as I move my legs. So I think I'm going to put elastic straps in just to pin that cod plate back a bit. And that's the only thing really that needs to be done. Apart from that, I'm pretty happy with the look of the legs. I think they look like quite good bat legs. Let's do an action pose. And they're quite flexible and I can move all around and do stupid things. Probably kneel on one knee, which works all right. It's a bit firm in the cod plate, but apart from that, it's okay. And uh, there we go. So pretty happy with that, but let's have a closer look at just those legs. Right, here they are, so yeah, pretty flexible, I can do all the things in them, feels pretty comfortable, quite happy with that profile look of them there, so I can sort of crouch right down and things, and I've got that segregation at the back of the heel there, so I can kind of move my legs, and all of those good things work. Not sure if I need a toe cap, it might be quite good to put one on, but that's something we're going to do in Tidy Up when we come back to finish all the details. 
All right, so that's the end of this video. Next time, we're going to be coming back to do the bat cowl and all of the headgear. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. It's going to be 3D printed in NinjaFlex, actual NinjaFlex, the really flexible filament. It's probably going to be, again, quite modular with lots of sections attached together. We'll have to see how that works out next time. After that, that will be officially the end of the Batsuit series, although I'll be coming back to make extra bat gadgets that integrate with it at some point in the future, things that fit in those thighs and in other places. And I'm also bringing the bat board back, which of course has 3D printed Ninja Flex tires. So thanks again to Ninja Tech for supporting this series. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and all the other projects. All right, that's all for now.